Hey guys, welcome back to Gina's Beauty Room, to my beauty room. So today I am going to bring you along with me to clean up this mess on my vanity. There's a lot going on here. There's, you know, every day I'm always getting new stuff out of my acrylic drawers and trying new things and you know, within, not within, but my full-time job takes up a lot of my time every day, you know, um, and then I commute and stuff. So things just kind of stay piled up until I get a chance or I have a chance to clean it up. So yes, I hope you enjoy this and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so where to start? Let me go ahead and put these away first. So these, if you watch my last video, I unboxed this Madam Glam New York nail polish company. They're an online store and you guys, they have tons of colors of nail polishes and different like finishes. Look, look at this one. This one is my favorite. This is like a lilac color and this one's in the shade Blissfully Yours. This is my favorite out of all of them, but I do have like a baby blue. I got like a sea blue turquoise or teal, then a pink, gotta have pink. And then this one is another baby blue, but this one's more sheer, I think. And then this one is a builder um, in the color magenta. So let's go ahead and I will link them down below in case you wanna check out their website. And then it does come with this UV lamp led lamp and you guys these work good I'm telling you okay so let's put those away bring you along with me and oh yes and i wanted to show you back here i have more unboxings to do for you so stay tuned for those unboxings they're exciting stuff but i'm gonna put that there for now and then I also wanted to show you, I'm gonna be painting my walls. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So my birthday is this month and uh, I was gonna take time off my full-time job and I wanted to, you know, paint my walls. Like I love to do that kind of crafty stuff and everything, but which color do you like? Here, let me see if I can get the true color in a, in a certain angle. Let me see, hold on. There we go. So do y'all like, the lightest, the middle, or the darkest. I'm probably not gonna go with the darkest shade of pink. It's gonna be between that one and this one. So y'all let me know, do y'all like the Hello Dolly or the real light one, Art Deco Pink? And the first wall I'm gonna target is that wall over there. So I think it's gonna look so beautiful. I'm probably gonna film it so that way I can put together a before and after on a YouTube video of mine or like the process. But yeah, let me know which one y'all like. Hello Dolly or Art Deco Pink. I'm excited about that. Okay, so this is gonna go in my empties. I just finished this creme shop, Clear the Way. And all this, let me put all the skincare first. I use a lot of skincare and I always try different skincare. So I did try this vitamin E salicylic acid. I'm trying this for my neck. So you can't forget about your, your decollete and your neck region. So try to find something that's anti-aging to also put there. Don't just, you know, put it on your face because, you know, your skin is a whole organ within itself you know so you want to take care of all your skin and then i do have this this is my favorite one so far for nighttime toning when i use this it like really 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 cleanses the skin it, it just i don't know my skin feels so so clean whenever i put this on at night before my skincare so this is the cost rx and yeah i found this one at um Marshalls, I believe. That one goes here. Nope, that one goes here. Let me fix this one. Okay, so that'll go there. And then I also have this Frutia one, and I love this for the morning toner. So yeah, I do have a <laughs> nighttime and a morning toner. And I've been loving this at in the morning, so just in case you wanted to know. And then you know what? I've been putting this Vaseline 
jelly with cocoa butter, I've been using it under my eyes. And you know, this is probably one of the most effective nourishing under eye treatment balms, you know, that you can put. So, and then I also talked with my dermatologist also about using this on the face. And she says it's like excellent for dry skin, flaky skin on the face. The only thing about these is that it remains like oily even when you sleep. So, I mean, if, if you happen to turn on your face, it's going to make your pillow have oil residue. You know what I mean? So that's the only downside about this. But I've been loving the way how moisturized it makes my under eye feel. Put that there. And then, of course, I use a hand sanitizer before I put on my makeup. So this is the e.l.f. hand sanitizer with 62% alcohol. And I'll put that. And you know what? If you have a cute little travel sanitizing bottle, keep it and you can refill it for your travel. And this is such a good one, too. So see how it it's just real sturdy. It's very thick plastic. You can tell it's not cheap. So I'm going to be using this and refilling it and putting it in my purse. So let's go ahead and put it in here for now. See where it belongs. So right there. This I use every morning. Well, I interchange them. So lately I've been reaching for this Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter. This is very, very nice on the lips. Keeps it hydrated. And then also right here. I also use this one, so I kind of interchange them. Okay, look, let me tell you a funny story. When I drink coffee, and I know I'm gonna drink a good amount of coffee, or I put this one on, this vanilla latte, and it like makes my coffee taste good. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see how it can kind of correlate and go well with coffee, you know? So <laughs> so if y'all wanted to try that, I think it, it works well when drinking coffee. So I'm gonna put that in there. Just try it and you'll see what I mean. And those you can pick up at Walmart and the Dollar General. Okay, so this is my, where I keep my cotton squares for my toning. So I'll put that back where it belongs right there. And then this one I've been loving as well. So this one I picked up at TJ Maxx. And this is Vegan Clear Skin AHA, PHA, whatever that word is. So it, it absorbs into the skin very nicely. There's no oily residue. It's just, you know, a serum that seeps into the skin and very like non-greasy at all. So, you know, I've been loving, loving this. And a little bit goes a long way. It spreads very, very nicely. I think this was only like $7.99 and it comes with in a pink, like a light pink bottle. So definitely check this out if y'all see it, buy it, and I'm sure y'all will like it. So I use this at night and in the morning before I put my cream since this absorbs into the skin pretty well. So this will go here. And then, oh my gosh, I love this brand. So the Fruity, as you can see, I have my toner there. And then here I have the lip, let me see, what is it called? I bought this on Amazon, Pomegranate Honey 3-in-1 Lip Balm. It is, let me see, let me see if I can open it up. It is very Vaseline-y, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's kind of like that moisturized, but on the lips. Like if you put that Vaseline on your lips, that's what this one will, will feel like. So just by stating that you can tell it's very moisturizing so i bought this one and a grape one as well so i haven't tried the grape but this one tastes pretty darn good and it, it was for like i i want to say 7.99 on amazon and it's very cute too it's like a honey pot Put that right there and just recently i picked this up at heb so this one is let's see this is the brand Pink Lemonade Lip Gloss. Is that the brand? Oh, no, it's called Lemonade Stand Cosmetics. So this one is the Pink Lemonade Lip Gloss. I haven't tried it, but I loved how cute it was. I think it was like six, no, $7.50. So it's pretty pricey, but uh, I liked it. I thought it was so cute. So this is my all time favorite favorite lotion from Bath and Body Works out of all the ones I've tried and I've tried a lot. I love this one. They have discontinued this. I think they always bring them back during the holiday season 
and when they do bring them back again i guarantee you i'm gonna buy a handful of those this next time because i hate to run out of this one i love it so much so i'm gonna leave that out and then this laneige lip sleeping mask in the flavor grapefruit um this one i'm almost let me show you not almost but like halfway through it these are so so moisturizing on the lips i know these are pretty pricey they're sold at sephora but you can find them at marshall's and tj maxx i haven't seen them at ross but if you see these discounted at the discounted stores definitely pick them up they are so worth it however I don't think that I would pay regular price for this. Yeah, this is very nice on the lips, you guys. So if y'all see it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, definitely pick those up. Um, I believe that they are $12.99 at those stores. And at Sephora, I think they're like $18, I believe. So yeah, I wouldn't pay regular price, but at $12.99, I would. Okay, so this I use, sometimes I separate my lashes with it. So I'm just gonna put this away right in here. Okay, so what else do we have? Corn nuts. <laughs> yep, ranch, crunchy corn kernels. Love those just to snack on. Oh, is this another, yeah, this is another item I need to unbox for you guys to show you what I've been ordering recently. So we'll go ahead and put this one along with, with these boxes as well. And I still even haven't opened the boxy charm box too. Um, anyways, so we are now on to let's go ahead and put this away. This hair straightener, I really, really, really have been enjoying this. So this one I bought on Amazon. I bought it as a Black Friday deal or a lightning deal. And you guys, this is very, very nice technology it's like that infrared technology it helps so so much with frizz while keeping your hair it doesn't flatten flatten your hair it gives it body but yet it reduces frizz because of the infrared technology hopefully that makes sense but oh my gosh this is so nice i think the brand is best gift yeah i do believe it's currently unavailable but i will link it down below that way you know you can put it in your card or add to your list and yeah it's fairly inexpensive i think it's like 30 dollars regular price but let's go ahead and put this away and i do like to use these things that it comes with to reduce like the clutter in my hair tool drawer and it tends to do a pretty good job if y'all don't have these they also sell these at like a pack on Amazon as well so and then I like the fact that this one too if you close it you can like lock it in place however um, sometimes it does unlock but for the most part it'll stay locked so it, it even saves more space. Tic Tacs. Okay, I'll put this right in here. So you see, when I hit something, it easily opens back up. So I'll just close it right back. Okay. And I do have a coupon uh, for $2 off any beauty product at CVS. So I just keep that right there. These were in my scrub pocket. A patient of mine had given the rehab group some Jolly Ranchers. So I just have those here. And I'm going to put them. I'll just put them in there where I have my little tools right there. In this little glass canister. This is beautiful. It's like vintage or antique. Okay, so I'm going to leave the corn nuts there. I got my tea there, my water. Let's go ahead and put this necklace my juicy couture little bird necklace away here let me show it to you it's very cute it's a little birdie so we'll put this away back right here i'm gonna lay it on here for now all right so then here i just recently took this out of like my out of my stash of acrylic organizers and i put all of my cara beauty palettes eyeshadow palettes here i think this one may be a face 
palette. But I put those there and I think it looks so pretty, all the colors, don't you think? And it's pretty heavy, like these are nice palettes, you guys, they're real, real pretty. Let's see how this one looks together, I, I totally forgot. Oh, this is a glitter palette. See that? It's just all glitter. It's kind of like a like a Vaseline kind of finish on the glitter. I haven't tried this. I just love the packaging of these palettes. They're, they're very sturdy. Um, they all come with mirrors. I love that about a palette because you can travel with it. So yeah, that's really nice. The packaging is beautiful as well. You see how it has like the glitter within the packaging? Oh, and then Sephora is gonna have their VIB spring savings event. We all make sure to get y'all's carts ready. Okay, so recently I hauled these. I'm gonna leave those here for now. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave those there for now. And then we'll move on to all the jewelry. So I am going to just stack them all together. So yeah, if you haven't seen this haul, I just posted this about three days ago. Y'all go check it out. I show all these jewelry pieces in depth. And yeah, you're gonna love that haul. It's so girly. And yes, I love, love, love Juicy Couture. I just love them. Not them, but their products. I'm gonna stack all these together. And then we'll put them, trying to get them all to where they don't fall. I'm wondering if I should put all the Juicy Couture items just right here. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I'm just trying to show you what I have on my vanity currently and what I've been using as far as the skincare stuff. So yeah, I did haul these as well. This belt is like a heart belt. And I thought it was Juicy Couture, but it's, where's the brand? Where is the brand? I guess I threw away the... It's It was Lynn something, I believe. Here's another necklace from Juicy Couture. How pretty. This is a heavy chain as well. And then these... I want to do something with these cards from Juicy Couture. Like a little project or something. So I'm going to save these. So I'll put those there, right there for now. And then, you know what, since all the gold pieces are there, I'll put that right there as well. Sometimes I'll purchase these soaps and I, you know, I leave the packaging on it and I just like use them. I use them to display in my bathroom to make it like a spa vibe, um, especially if they're pink wrapped or pastel color, I will get them. Right now they have, they should have a lot of Easter ones out, which are all pastel colors. So if you want to start doing that, I think that's a good idea to vamp your restroom, you know, your bathroom area out to looking like a spa. Okay, so this is trash, trash, um, trash, and then, okay, so that's the color palette for the paint that I want. So don't forget to comment below which color should I pick to paint my walls. And then these are so cute. I also hauled these from Ross. And they're those little, the, they're miniature tin cans of these cookies. Isn't that cute? And they're stackable. It came in a, in a set of four for $6.99. Like you cannot beat that. Like what? Okay, so these are, I use these bags. Like sometimes I'll just put them in here. And when I'm ready to empty out that trash can, I will get one of those bags and use it to collect all the trash, you know what I mean? And then I'll go throw it <clears throat> in the trash bin outside. So this one I'll just put here for now as well. And then the safety pin. You never know when you'll need a, a safety pin, so I just kind of put it in there. So this is gonna go in the empties bin. Oh, look, I have another one. So let me put this you see how it's stackable? I think that's so cute. And then this is going to go in the empties bin, which I'll take that in a little bit. But that is that is it for now. 
oh look there's one more item out of place so this is glow in the city highlighter quad um this is the brand i guess new new york glow or no maybe it's absolute new york is the brand so here's how it looks this was for 3.99 at ross but let me show you how it looks it kind of reminds me of the essence highlighter in a way that it's very subtle like it almost blends away to like a nat very sheer natural highlight so if that's what you're into i think this is such a good little palette for that so no it's not going to be intense of a highlight but like for your everyday work environment this was nice I, I was really surprised on how that swatched i haven't tried it on my face but um just by the swatch i think you see how it leaves that glow i think it's really nice so let's put my rings away and they will go over here so yes thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to show you what's currently on my vanity what i've been using and i hope you did enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press that subscribe button and i do lots of hauls so love it if you joined my family and yes you guys i will see you on the next one bye